Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex calendar. As you can see, we got some data published already, very important data from the United Kingdom. CPI, Consumer Price Index for the month of the September had been published and it beats the expectations. 10.1% was the actual reading while the forecast was 10% and the previous reading was 9.9%. Uh, so it looks like the CPI is rising in the UK. What will be the CPI uh, in the Eurozone? We will find out at 11 uh, a.m. Uh, our expectations are at the same level, 10%. However, the previous reading was 9.1%, so it's almost 1% increase expected in the CPI of the Eurozone. Of course, this kind of data will be, uh, will be negative for Euro. During the New York session, we have uh, very important data from the US in form of building permits scheduled for release at uh, half past two and then crude oil inventories scheduled for release at half past four. Of course, in the meantime, we have the core CPI data from Canada scheduled for release at half past two as well. So those are the important, the most important data uh, for today. I think we should start our technical part with the British pound first. For our chart of the British pound, looks very, very interesting. What do we have here is um, an increase uh, from the level of um, um, uh, 1.0444. This is the uh, level of 161% um, uh, 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 Fibonacci. Uh, projection and then we got the 50% of course 1.0918 uh, the bounce uh, uh, was started from here and of course the uh, the bottom for the wave B is here so what we are waiting for the wave C as I said the bounce might be kind of a uh, impulsive uh, targeting the um, the level of uh, 1.1625 uh, however so far we stopped at the uh, technical resistance 1.1410 this level 1.1410 had been mentioned many times um, already because this is a very important level multi-year uh, technical uh, support for the uh, for the uh, British pound of course it was broken so right now the market is testing this support uh, from the uh, uh, from the below right and um, as far as i can see the bulls are not able to rally higher above this above this uh, level we are being uh, of course uh, uh, capped around this level uh, and as i said the cpi bigger than expected is not really a good sign for the British pound. We are still above the 30 periods moving average. However, the technical support at 1.1224 is looming here. So maybe uh, in the in the near time we will see the test of this level and then possible uh, breakout. So that would mean the top for the wave C unfortunately had been uh, had been uh, terminated prematurely at this level. But as long as we are trading um, above the bottom of the wave B. The development to the to the upside is uh, still um, the possible. So, uh, so let's let's um, let's uh, see what the market can do with this uh, with this uh, situation. Here, the outlook, as you can see, starts to become more and more uh, more and more negative for the British pound and it's support uh, supported by the recent economic. Uh, data. We have some uh, data as well from the uh, US. So let's take a look at the US dollar index first. So what do we have here? We have a four hour chart of the US dollar index. Let's switch to daily. And the daily chart shows, oh, there you go. We got the top for the wave B. Uh, apparently, I want the top for the wave B first. It's it's somewhere here. Then, of course, um, there's somewhere here. The level, the correct level is 113.80 nine let's adjust our levels as you can see the target for the wave c because the wave c is missing a b and c uh, from the uh, from the top is 109.14 let me let me zoom in a little bit more 109.14 this is the 
target for the wave uh, wave C here so it's right now going according according to the plan uh, we have a minus 4.12 percent uh, decrease if we get to the level of 100 which is of course the market geometry uh, level we will have minus 4.77 percent of the correction for the us dollar index and the bottom for the wave c will be made the market will be ready for another rally uh, to the uh, upside so that's the us dollar index us dollar index is going down what is then doing the s p 500 we got some data uh, from um uh, we got some data from the US later on. Um, let's see as an SPX. There you go. What is going on here? Uh, this is a daily time frame chart. Let me just zoom out this time and look at this 50% of the whole retracement. 50% Fibonacci retracement of this, this big massive post COVID rally here, right? from 2020 the end of the march 2020 has been hit so the s p 500 index retraced 50 percent of the last massive rally and right now what is going to do because it looks like this is very nice the test of this level 3503 level uh, the the low was 3490 green candle daily time frame chart green candle long uh, shadow to the, to the to, uh, low long um, uh, lower shadow then we have a down day then we have an inside bar yesterday we made another local high 3764 today let's see what will happen today however please take a look that this is the 30 day moving average and the market is still trading below this uh this level uh we are testing the technical resistance however we got one more technical resistance on on the way 3807 that's the next target eventual target for um for bulls and then 3893 3921 is the next target uh, for bulls when this one is violated so that's the s p uh, 500 the outlook is slightly slightly bullish however the momentum is still below the level of 50 so we definitely need to break above that uh, 30 day moving average above the technical resistance and then the outlook become much more uh, clear and uh, much more favorable for bulls so that's the s p 500 what is then gold doing if we speak about the uh, the market of a uh, of a us uh, us dollar and and uh, uh, and uh, um, United States let's see what the gold is doing then so we have very strong downtrend on gold uh, we passed the 61% uh, of the Fibonacci retracement so we don't need this one anymore we retrace 7% to the upside and then we almost retraced everything to the downside okay so this is this is gone almost gone this is almost gone now this 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 nice big rally these candles this nice green candles as you can see there you go this is the high 707 is the high oh maybe a little bit here okay that's not that important anymore so this is the high we got the uh, technical uh, resistance now the new level of the technical resistance just here oh, where's my line um this is my line thank you and this is my technical new technical resistance 1729 this is the next uh, eventual um local swing high we are under the line we are under the uh 30 day moving average so we are moving lower and lower and it looks like this level here 1686 is now as well technical resistance 1676 is as well technical resistance and another one 1671 as you can see technical resistance the bulls didn't have a chance to break above any of these uh, levels and then of course extension to the downside inside bar inside bar extension to the downside inside bar inside bar extension to the downside please please follow the 
follow the market follow this kind of a patterns it it and uh, and they read the market intentions then the trading will be much more easier for you uh, guys let me just put the technical support local technical support let's say 1615 and that's about everything uh, regarding to the uh, spot gold market downtrend below the te technical resistance below 30 day moving average below trend line approaching last it's not last week it's a last month low 1,615 if violated downside extension is expected that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye